to the Iranian people, I say tonight, as you stand for your own liberty, America stands with you. Ages, the spirit of Persia has always triumphed. The first capital was here, in Pasarka. In this world of beauty was born more than five centuries before Christ, the mightiest empire in the history of the world. Cyrus, King of Kings. Shahe Badur, Shahe Hakhamanishi, Shahe Iran Zamin. As John of Iman, Shahen Shahe Iran. As John of Iman, it had fallen to him, after a twilight in his nation's long history, to remind the world. And his own people, a Persian pride.
این مراسم ما از شما عزیزان که خواستیم رژیم را عوض کنید اگر سوالی دارید دستتان را بلند کنید تا نوبتتان فرا برسد پیش از طرح سوالتان لطفا نام خود نهاد و نشانی مطبوعاتی را که معرف آنی اعلام کنید معرفی نامه دکتر یزدی را مرور کنید و از او برای سخنرانیش ببخشید بله اگر شما اجازه بفرمایید من همین این متنم به زبان انگلیسی بخونم باسم با درود به عاشقان ایران Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to today's press conference on the topic of change of regime in Iran. Before we begin today's press conference, we request that you turn off all cell phones and we sure appreciate your cooperation with this request. Today's press conference is planned to be broadcasted both in English and Farsi. Today's agenda is as follows. We'll hear from the founder of this movement, Dr. Ahura Pirus Khaleri Yazdi, about the subject matter of this conference. Dr. Yazdi will address questions of the press after the opening remarks in both sessions. Please withhold all questions until this time. Also, it's our intent for Dr. Yazdi to respond to all of your questions to accomplish this goal in an orderly manner and also to provide you with a microphone so that the whole audience may hear your question, we respectfully request that you raise your hand and await to be called upon. Once called, please state your name and your press affiliation and location clearly and then ask your question. دکتر اهورا پیروز, پیروز خالقی یزدی با بیش از چهار دهه تجربه در تحت اجرا و مدیریت مدیریت پروژه های دشوار هواپیمایی یکی از سکارشناس برجسته جهانی است که دولت ها و شرکت های خصوصی هنوز معمولیت های مهم در زمینه تحت و مدیریت خطوط هواپیمایی بین المللی امور مربوط به انسان دوستی و خدمات ویژه را به او محول می کنند. دکتر یزدی 17 زبان را می خاند و می فهمد. به 8 زبان سخن می گوید و به 4 زبان می نویسد. اگرچه خانواده او مقیم اروپا است ولی خود او در خاور دور و خاور میانه از جمله ایران، چین و همچنین در آمریکا و هلند بلژیک، انگلستان و سوئیس به سر برده است. فعالیت های دکتر یزدی شامل پروژه های متفاوت فضایی و محیط, 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 زیست, محیط زیست می شود و به پژوهش پیرامون مسائل فنی، موسیقی و طبیعت و تجدیه و تحلیل مسائل سیاسی و اقتصادی جهان علاقه بسیار دارد. برای آگاهی بیشتر در مورد آقای دکتر یزدی لطفاً به تارنمای www.ahura.info مراجعه کنید. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Yazdi, with over four decades of design, development, and management of challenging aviation projects, Dr. Ahura Pires Khaliqi Yazdi is one of only three international aviation experts who continues to accept missions on demanding international aviation, humanitarian, and logistic projects from governments and other contractors. Dr. Yazdi reads and understands 17 languages, speaks eight, and writes in four character languages. Although most of his family lives in Europe, he has lived in the Middle East and Far East, including Persia, China, Russia, the U.S., and Holland, as well as Belgium, England, and Switzerland. Dr. Yazdi's pursuits include various space and environmental projects. Today, hundreds of thousands of people bravely took over the streets of Iran 
to show the world that they are united and they want democracy, they want freedom, and they are sick and tired of the ruling theocracy. Their demonstration and their solidarity yesterday showed to the world that they are united and they are a factor that no longer can be ignored. Sadly, sadly, this brave move was not effectively in American and European media the way it should have been. This massive show of aspiration for freedom and democracy did not get the coverage that it deserved. I hope you understand. My countrymen want to understand what I'm saying. My people in Iran are watching. Please allow me to have some word in Farsi, or at least translate what I said. Thank you for your understanding. خواهران و برادرانم، من امروز واقعا بیش از هر زمان خوشحال و خرسندم که تونستم اینجا در مقابل شما باشم و صدای پیروزی دیروز هموطنانم را به شما و سایر خبرنگاران دنیا برسونم دیروز پنجم مهر 2563 خواهران و برادران هموطنان ما نشان دادند که با هم اتحاد دارند اتحاد همبستگی و یگانگی این اتحاد دیروز آنطور که باید و شاید توسط خبرنگاران و خبرگزاری ها ریپورت نشد آلدو وی ریسیو that Reuters and CBS or some other media informed hundreds or thousands or maybe few thousand, but in reality it was almost a million people if you include those they were in the car. I want you to know that the news media و رسانه ها اونطوری که باید و شاید نگذاشتند این اطلاع به گوش جهان برسد رسانه ها در هر جای دنیا سعی کردند این صدای شما را صدای اتحاد شما دیروز اتحادی که با هم داشتید و هنوز هم ادامه می دهید تا آنجا که توانستند کوچک و کوچکتر کردم ولی شما خواهران و برادرانم هموطنانم باز نشان دادید و نشان خواهید داد که ما با هم هستیم اتحاد داریم و برای آزادی ببلیکت ما تا آخرین لحظات کوشش خواهیم کرد که از دست این جلادان خوب فرما به ایران آزاد شویم The story of the people of Iran in the most underreported for the last 25 years. This lack of proper and honest coverage of the struggle of the people of Iran has been reflected in the lack of understanding of the events by the policy makers and the public at large. Hamin Khabar Nadodan که شما در چه وضعیت ناامنیتی به سر میبرید توسط رسانه ها باعث شده که بردم دنیا نفهمند که شما در چه رنج و مشقتی به سر میبرید خانوم ها آقایان Ladies and gentlemen We are here today we are here today to end to this. We are here today to tell the world that the people of Iran are going to overthrow this terrorist regime and that we are going to hold you, you media, responsible if you do not report honestly and objectively. 
I hope you hear my voice, media, around the world, especially in a Western world, in the United States, in Europe. Let me repeat. The people of Iran are going to overthrow this terrorist regime. And we are going to hold you, the media, responsible if you do not report honestly and objectively. It is not only your journalistic duty, but also your moral duty. It is your moral duty, even if you are not a journalist. You have to educate the public and the policymaker to tell the world what's going on in Iran. Let the people know these Iranian people are hostage, hostage of what they call mullahs. You may know Taliban. But Taliban were better than mullahs. Please understand. Media. The mullahs are not Iranian government. This regime holds 70 million of my people as hostage. Hamvatan. We go from Media. Yani resane ha. مسئول این اخبار نادرستی هستش که به مردم میدن از جنبش شما جلوگیری میکنند و باعث عقب افتادن این حرکت ملی ما شدن شما شما خواهران و برادران هم وطنان ما گفتیم به انگلیسی که ما شما را مسئول میدانیم اگر اخبار ایران را به صورت درست پخش نکنید حرکت این جنبش را به درستی پخش نکنید شما در آینده و حال مسئولید ما به انگلیسی گفتیم چون اینها فاسی نمی فهمند چاره ندارد از اتون پوزش میخوام که دارم مقداری انگلیسی به شما میگم اینجا حرف میزنم صدای شما رو سعی می کنم به دنیا برسونم صدایی که 25 سال خوابیده بود I was telling to my people I'm bringing your voice to the world to the journalist to the media the media that kept you quiet for 25 years for the first time in the century in the history not century We are here today to call on all the policy makers, and especially Mr. Bush, President Bush, that you cannot win the war on terror as long as there is a terrorist regime in Middle East who is behind every major terrorist activity. Madarim be dunya migim. تا زمانی که این رژیم تروریستی که در ایران حاکم است اقدامات ضد تروریستی در دنیا به هیچ نتیجه نخواهد رسید ما میگوییم The European countries must be aware that they will not see peace and prosperity as long as there is a terrorist regime in Iran and bent and defending them doesn't help. The European Union says that the government of the Mullahs in Iran that they help terrorists in the world and all these things اتفاقات ناگوار در دنیا ادامه خواهد داشت ما به مردم دنیا میگوییم We are telling to the people 
you will not be able to get rid of this regime unless you support for the freedom of Iran, for the freedom of the people of Iran, the 70 million hostages. Support my people. Support them by doing the right thing, not just saying some empty words. داشتم به خارجی ها میگفتم که اینقدر به خاطر منافع شخصی از این رژیم پشتیبانی نکنند شما میدونید که پشتیبانی هاشون به خاطر استفاده های اقتصادی The people of Iran have been missing for any equation that pertains to political situation in Iran. Two months ago, Mr. Brzezinski was advocating support of this terrorist regime. He overlooked the important role of the people of Iran, which can play bringing and bringing the peace and stability to the region. به اینها میگم که اگر شما پشتیبانی از ملت ایران نکنید در اون قسمت دنیا که ایران هست آسایش و صور نخواهد بود حالا اگه عقلشون برسه He ignored the people and thus gave the regime the importance it does not deserve. داشتم راجع به برجیسی میگفتم. گفتم که این نگفت حقایقی رو به دولتهای دنیا به خاطر منافع خارجی ها در ایران. It is time to correct this wrong and recognize the legitimate aspiration of the people of Iran and support, support honestly the 70 million hostages in Iran the way it has to be. It's time to educate the world policy maker that the people of Iran are the only ones holding the key of the victory on war and the terror and the world terrorists, even in the Western world. Yesterday, my people, the Iranian, the brave Iranian people in Iran showed that this regime is weaker and weaker than the most people think. دیروز شما نشون دادید که این ملاها، این رژیم، این حکومت ظالم به حدی سست و بی قدرته که خودشون هم نمی دونستند. Yesterday we showed the world that this regime is weaker than the most people think and the people of Iran are ready more than ever to overthrow this terrorist regime. By the same token, here I am inviting, please understand, this is not only for American or European or the rest of the world. Here I am inviting all Iranians, all Persians, my countrymen, all political leader to join forces by uniting together to this great change of regime. Let us be united and for free Iran and prosperous Iran. Let us be united for democracy. Let us be united to overthrow this barbaric regime. Let us be united in upholding our traditional heritage of good deed, good thought, and good world. 
I thank you very much. I really thank you very much to listening to my word. And please bring this word to the world. Let the world know my people are struggling for 25 years. 25 years under the mullahs. Mullahs who were, who are worse than any Taliban any regime. Unfortunately, you were not aware. These people are not Iranians. They are not Persians. We have our tradition. We have our way of life. If you look at their pictures, with all respect to Palestinians, to all nations, they are wearing Palestinians clothes. They are they have their own way of dressing themselves, talking. Those are not Iranians. All of them, from Afrastanjani to Khatimi to Khamenei, I am ashamed to even tell their names. Hambatan, Dashabi Gofsan Kinha, Irani Nistan. اگر ایرانی بودن که تقویم ایران ما را نگه می داشتند مواظب هموطنان ما بودند جوانان ما را اینطور از بین نمی بردند خواهران و دختران من که نصف اقل من نصف اجتماعی ایران هستند از سحن خارج نمی کردند یا نمی گفتند که نصف آدم هستند People of the world journalist please listen to me this is the voice of 70 million Iranians 70 million Persians are struggling for 25 years you saw what happened for three years ago in the United States September 11 we have worse than September 11 for 25 years Please, listen, listen the voice of my people. Let us get rid of this terrorist regime. We know where they are. We know what they are doing. They kept my people as hostage. You want a peace in the world? You want to get rid of the terrorists? The war on terror is in Tehran. They kidnapped my people. They kept my people as hostage. They're using the oil money to support terror. Which kind of terror? Hezbollah, Hamza, Syria. The excel of evil that Mr. President, you told us. Support us. We don't want you to interfere on any issues in Iran. Iranian want their freedom. Iranian want to be independent. Hambatan, داشتم به این خارجیا میگفتم که اینقدر از این تروریست ها به طور غیر مستقیم که در ایران هستند و حاکم فرما هستند همکاری نکنید. اگر میخواید از دست تروریست راحت شوید مهدنش در ایرانه. The Iranian regime are leading the terrorists around the world. They should begin to ma istiqlal and azadi khodumun mikhaim. Mikhaim rupay khodumun baishim. Ne mikhaim kesi keshpari be kare ma dekhalat deshte baishe. Ma haftad million leader darim. Mr. Bush, Mr. Blair, whoever you are in Europe, as England, France, Germany. Holland or Belgium, Italy, Spain, Greek, China and Russia and United States. Let us be free. Where is this human right? Where is those organization they call we take care of the people? My people, they killed 2.7 of my people in Iran. 
داشتم به اینا دارم میگم که شما که میگید که انسانید و از انسانیت میفهمید چرا میذارید ملت ما اینطور از بین برن جوانان ما رو شهید کردند I'm not gonna take too much of your time I'm very much excited the major point is your victory yesterday yesterday my people showed that they are united for the first time in 25 years my people came to the street they showed the unity for the first time in 25 years my people were dancing and singing for their unity the terrorist regime trying to use misuse and tell to others this demonstration had to do with some kind of the war that they created to keep my people busy between in the 80s eight years this terrorist regime was Saddam Hussein played Mickey Mouse game to let my people believe they are supporting my country we know everybody knows این قایم موشک بازی که هشت سال این رژیم با صدام حسین به جا انداخته بود که شماها رو از بین ببره که سمپاتی و اینترست و علاقه شما رو به خاطر وطن سو استفاده کنه همین رژیم امروز اعلام کرده که شما که دیروز برخواستید برای استقلالتون به خاطر اون جنگ بوده ولی خافرن که مردم دنیا میفهمند هر وقت رژیم این رژیم تروریست اگر تظاهراتی داشته باشد سین زنیست و یا علی و مرگ به آمریکا و مرگ بر اسرائیل چرا دیروز نبود دیروز شاد بودید شما نشون دادید که پیرو اندیشه نیکو رفتار نیک و گفتار نیک هستید I was telling to my country then the regime the terrorist regime of Iran is trying to put to get the credit of this demonst yesterday's demonstration credit credit for what you know what they were telling that this demonstration was because of celebration of freedom of Iran after eight years war but you know I know everybody knows when the regime has a demonstration their first world is dead to America or Israel and they are going to have that new way of Islamic or I don't want to uh, give any negative word to any religion but what they do to other countries you, you saw the Hezbollahs how to demonstrate yesterday's demonstration that was happiness for the unity for the first time my people yesterday they could sing and dance because the military the army the guard they are fed of this terrorist regime too they are with us today those seven mullahs that you gentlemen in different countries are dealing and willing with them they are alone those seven ruling major ruling persons if I may call them persons which they are not in the Iranian regime they are alone there is there is no way they can stay longer همبتن چون میدونم این دوربین به شما رسیده به شما نگاه میکنم دارم میگم که به این خارجی هایی که همیشه تو فکر استفاده های خودشونن که هر طور شده میخوان یک نفعی از نفت ایران از معادن زیرزمینی ایران برای فروش برای 
آنچه که اقتصادی به نظرشون میرسه استفاده کنن دارم میگم اون چند مله ها تنها شدن تمام شده 25 سالشون هم تمام شده هموطن شما میدونید من میدونم ما همه میدونیم اینجا که این دوره دوره تروریست اسلامی تمام شده ما آزادی ایران رو میخوایم آزادی به اون آزادی که شما دلتون میخواد با افتادن رژیم ملاها شما خودتون تصمیم میگیرید چه رژیمی میخواید چی کار میخواید بکنید از دست این ملاها راحت خواهید شد اگر فراموش کردید اون ده براخان ده موردی رو که گفتیم در وبسایت ما هست بارها تکرار کردیم امروز تکرار نمی کنیم و من با عزتون باید به خارجی هم بگم که حسنشون اینجا سر نره We have a declaration a declaration 10 point declaration which we believe is the basis for the freedom of Iran You can read them in our website www.ahura.info Ahura is from one side is the name of the God in Iran but this Ahura is Hamahangi Azadi Baraye Iran Ahura.info You can find the declaration there I thank you very much for your time, for your attention. I just received a few articles from international media. For the first time in the history, I hear that media are supporting Iranian people. Why they woke up? Because of you, Hamdan. My countrymen, my patriots, I see here Reuters for the first time reported your movement. Me binam ke khabar gozari hai khariji ham daran bidar mishan be khater harkati ke shama kardit. Dar Reuters, dar BBC, dar NBC, dar jahay mukhtalif hamin al ane ba aks. به ما نشون دادن که اینها اخبار حرکت شما را نشون دادن من میخوام I want everybody knows I want to report honestly you are a journalist it is your duty and is your moral duty too هموطن میگم شما رسانه هستید این وظیفه جورنالیستی شماست این وظیفه وجدانی شماست که حقیقت رو بنویسید بگذارید ملت ما آزاد شود خصومتی با ملت دارید اسم ملت رو بنویسید I thank you very much for your attention از همه شما سپاس خوزارم که به حرفهای من گوش کردید حرف زیاد دارم ولی جواب سوالتون خواهد At this time, if you would kindly raise your hand uh, if you have a question and wave Susan here. Uh, we'll just bring you this microphone and uh, speak clearly, state your name and affiliation, and then proceed with your question, please. As Khan Mahogayun Khayesh Manda, Magar, Hamaknoo Sawali Daran, Los Konan Das Shunu Bala Konan, In Khan Mahogayun Susan Inja, Baru Shama, Mikrofon Miaran. شما لطف کنین اسمتون و اسنام محل کارتون یا احیانا اسم رسانه خبریتون رو لطف کنین بفرمایین و سوالتون رو بکنین خبرنگار رادیوی ایران بفرمین به همه چیز برای شما کلیر هست 
عقیده رادیوی شما رسبت به این موومنت شما چی میگید؟ که صدای ما به تمام رسانه ها برسد رسانه های وطن ما بفرم Sorry, I don't hear your voice. My name is Marwan Sadiq. Yeah, uh, please bring the uh, well, speaker right. closer to your mind. My mom. name is Marwan Sadiq. I work for Secret Tower Foundation and Time Magazine. I have three questions if you can, if you can answer them. Uh, first of all, uh, you asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. Uh, first of all, you asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the Israeli government to bring Israeli citizens to Israel. Three questions. You asked the All right. One more time, please. All right. You are asking the help of the international community to help you tolerate Iran. What do you think about Mujahidi Khalq? What I think what of about Mujahidi Khalq? Yeah. Mujahid. This is my first question. Okay. My second question, do you think that the Iranian government are trying to get rid of you when you said that for security reasons you changed the car and the road? Who, who's trying to, to kill you or to get rid of you? My, my third question is that What is the mission or the job of the advisory committee you established? Thank you. Great, perfect questions. In regard to helping my people, I'm not helping them. I'm just giving their voice. And that's what they want. That's what they want their freedom. In regard to Mujahideen, uh, don't forget, Mujahideen of Iran are different than Mujahideen in Afghanistan. That was confusion here in the United States, even in the Parliament and the uh, State Department. And uh, many, many people, when they hear Mujahideen, they think they are all the same. Now, Iranian Mujahideen? First of all, you must know the people who are Mujahideen, as far as I have been informed, they love their country. They love to be united with the rest of my country, rest of the people. In addition, most of them are highly educated in art, in many, many other edu uh, edu uh, information. The problem was their leader announced that she or he is the president of the country. That was not the main problem. The, above that, the problem was that they were supported by Saddam Hussein in Iraq. They had their camp in Iraq, their military, and were feed the, the All their emissions and uh, capital and sources was from Saddam or other people in France, based in France, not the French. Today, my people want to join to unity with all Iranians. They are part of my country. I love them one by one. I want them to be back in my country, to Iran and go to help their countrymen. And please, please follow the Persian rule of human rights, which it says, the Kurdish, the king of Iran, 2,563 years ago, declared the human rights, which today hanging in the United Nations, and until today nobody could bring a better sentence than he which says every person is free the way he wants to think, his religion, the habits, culture, and most important, nobody is allowed to hurt if somebody doesn't believe anything. So absolute freedom, individual freedom. That's the Persian, old Persian, and today is valid for my country. And uh, that's what we would like to do 
my message to Mujahideen is come back home. Come back home. Let's, let's rebuild our country together, the free country, free Iran. I hope I answered your question, except the one you said about security. Yes, that's true. And uh, that's why I'm not offering to introduce my committee, because you do know what we are doing. Just give you a few indications. I only me personally have over 835 hours of live TV show this year. It's broken records in the history of uh, media. Life, which I talk to my countrymen. Beside me, I don't see, I don't say a member of our group, but other gentlemen, including Mr. Dauber from uh, the owner of Rangarang and other people, Afsana had yesterday, and my other uh, friends who love you, love Iranian people, who love the freedom of my country, absolute freedom, not under any country or rules or regulations and, and, and uh, religion. We did a lot of effort to bring the situation to this stage. The mission statement that we have, the uh, declaration for future of Iran, I would like you to read again in our website, ahura, A-H-U-R-A dot info. The, what I'm trying to tell you, what we have done is nobody could believe from the first day. What it happened yesterday, nobody could predict. I mean, when I say nobody, I'm talking about Iranian in the Western world or foreign non-Iranian in, 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 in the world, whole world. Nobody could believe that for the first time in 25 years, my people will stand up and walk in the street. And nobody was hurt. You know why? Because with our connection with the police, with the guard, with the military, they promised me they will take care of the people, that nothing will happen. And that happened yesterday. It's the first time in the history. So. The power we have, we call it power of Hacha. It's very difficult for many to understand. This power of Hacha is moving, has such a force that not many people can understand. Because of that, yes, there is a trust. There is a trust, not on me, on people around me. Of course, you must understand, those terrorists are sitting on the oil, natural resources, millions of millions of dollars of income on a daily basis. They are stealing things from my country, every resource we have. They take it out and help the terrorists for their own existence. They don't want to see somebody like me or my people make my country free. That's why we are under threat, and this is a major obstacle we have, but we will succeed. I hope I answered your question. Befan, uh, uh, could you wait just for a second? Because my countrymen, most of them, don't, doesn't understand Farsi. Hambatan, you should ask Ban Prosidan Che, Yik Ali Boot. از طرف فرمودن تایمز یا نمیدونم که مزشت باشم گفتن که سه سوال داشتن که با مجاهدی چی کار میکنید چرا میخوان شما را ترور کنند و سوال سومشون این بود که این حیعتی که ما داریم حیعت شورا چه کارهایی میکنند 
من خلاصه به شما بگم بهشون گفتم که مجاهدین رهبرانشون چون با صدام حسین خارجی ها کار کردند باید ملت ایران در آینده تصمیم بگیره اون تصمیماتی که شما خودتون در دادگاه ها با رهبرانشون میگیرید ولی افراد هموطنهای ما حالا اسمشون شده مجاهد این تفلکی ها هموطن ما هستند چرا باید در کمپهای آمریکایی و عراقی در اونجا به سر ببرند باید بیان در کشور ما شانه به شانه ما آزادی همه رو قبول کنند فکر نکنند همه باید مثل اونها فکر کنند هر کسی فکر خودش رو نگه فقط برای آزادی آزادی سال سفر میشه من جواب دادم که این حرکت هایی که ما کردیم باعث شده که رژیم اسلامی رژیم ظالم خارجی به عنوان جمهوری اسلامی به خاطر استفاده های خودش چون از مملکت ما دزدی میکنن معادن ما رو میبرن روزی ده ها میلیون از منابع زیرزمینی ما دارن استفاده میکنن و تروریست بیمرمداری رو همکاری میکنن شکی نیست که دلشون میخواد ما به قول شما سر به ترمون نباشیم میبخشید باید کلاسه گفتن چون اینجا خا... امریکاست مجبورم جواب انگلیسی شما بدن پوزش بفرمی Hello, can you hear me? I'm sorry, I, I have also a problem to speak Farsi. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, uh, mention it in uh, English. Do you mind? About Please, it? go ahead. Okay, my name is uh, Reza Salami, and uh, I'm the founder of International Institute for Iranian Affairs. I just want to let you know uh, about uh, two years ago, I went to Iran. Uh, at New Year, and I went to Shiraz and to see how the people of uh, my state they doing. Just just the first time after the 35 years, I went to see the uh, people of my city, and also try to cooperate with the university because I'm the professor at the university, and I'm very active in the research with the with the different national agencies. So we drove about uh, 18 hours a day in the Shiraz to talk to people. What is the problem? And every single person we talked to, they were begging us to do something for them. And I went to every city, every, and finally I said, okay, I'm going to go and do something about that, which I am not uh, in any organization. And I came back here and I established the center of uh, international institute. Something I want to say, each person can make a difference. Each Iranian, they can make the difference. And we have to be active in the United States. We are sitting and we just talking. I think as Dr. Yazdi... I thought you have a question. Uh, I'm not talking, we are acting very fast. Not you, no, 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 no. I support you. I'm talking, the, uh, Dr. Yazdi, I, I'm you're sorry. You're talking the foreign, I mean, American and European media and policy maker. I understand, I believe you are right. I'm not because sure. international policy makers and the media, they are just supporting those who can help them to get a contract, oil contract and other contracts because their pocket is important. I understand, I understand they want to have their business, but they have to wake up. I understand what you say. Thank you very much. And I, you I have more I questions? Just, yeah, I just want to mention all Iranian in uh, America, we have to let the senator, Congress know about what is going on here because they support it. Do you think the senators, they don't know? Believe it No, I, I, I tell you, that's a reality. I Thank think, you very much. Okay, let me, uh, can I ask a question? I, I think uh, it was excellent yesterday what happened. Do, do you have any message for Iranian right now? Actually, yesterday in Iran, because they are waiting for you. Perfect to, question. To Perfect say question. something about those Thank Iranian. you very much for reminding me. Yes, Thank I you. have a message for my countrymen in Iran. Ambassador. 
ایشون پرسیدن که آیا من پیامی دارم برای شما گفتم بله چه سوال خوبی کردید My first message My first message is to thank you for your victory First I have a couple of messages چند فراخان دارم برای شما هم وطنانم در ایران اولیش از شما سپاسگزاری کنم از پیروزی دیروزی واقعا من و خودتون رو سربلند کردی در مقابل دنیا و همان این پیروزی آنچنان افتخار آمیزه که تا ابد در تاریخ خواهد بود This victory, the yesterday's victory, is going to be in our history book. Second, I wanted to ask you to come to the Khiabans and come to the Khiabans for any kind of statements today and today. Because from inside, تشکیلات ملایان ظالم ستمکار خبر رسیدی که اینها میخوان بگن که شماها میایین تو خیابون و بر علیه شما کارهایی رو بکنن که اخبار در دنیا طور دیگه ای پیچیده بشه این خبر قبل از اینکه می اومدم به من رسید شما همینقدر که شادی کنید نه ورزی کنید بارها گفتیم باز هم میگیم هم دیگر رو نگاه میکنید به هم تو دلتون بگی دوستت دارم عاشقتم هم بخن این اتحاد رو بیشتر و بیشتر میکنه و بزرگترین حربه هاست در مقابل ظالمان حاکم در ایران بنابراین اگر شنیدید که کسی گفته بیاید توی خیابونها را برید نکنید سوم یادم رفتی رو به شما بگم که بارها گفتم ولی باز هم باید بگم اگر سپاهی دیدید اگر پلیس دیدید اگر ارتشی دیدید یا بسیجی یا بلند یا آرام یا تو دلتون بهش بگید سپاس گذاری برادر ازشون سپاس گذاری کنید برای این کمکی که دیروز برای اتحاد کردن ببینید به قولشون انجام دادن گفتن هیچ اتفاقی نخواهد افتاد و هیچ اتفاقی هم نیفتاد I'm asking my people I'm sorry because your question was in English I had to answer you in English ببخشید ایشون سوالشون به انگلیسی بود من مجبورم به انگلیسی جواب بدم First of all I'm thanking my countrymen Iranian people Persian everybody in, in, in Iran for their successful demonstration yesterday their victory that was the first time in the history of Iran the 5th of May of 2563 which is equal to 26th of September 2004 it goes to our history first I thank them for their victory secondly I ask them not to demonstrate for coming three days because we the intelligence from Iran from the mullahs informed us they are going to have some kind of demonstration which will bring many victims and have whole different subject. It has nothing to do with yours and mine about freedom of my country and against the terrorists. Third, I was informed about the committee which we have, the advisory committee, which we are not going to announce. And finally, I want again to thank myself, the law enforcement in Iran, and the people 
that made this happen. I hope I answered your question, but uh, in regard to the uh, congressmen and the policy makers around the world, believe it or not, I have been working with policy makers for more than 40 years. They know everything. They know from A to Z. They know exactly what's happening in Iran. But don't forget, if you work for someone, you have to follow his instruction in order to get your paycheck at the end of the month. That's the same story. Dr. Yazdi, what I, uh, I said, I know I've been dealing uh, with some congressmen, uh, but uh, my point is the people, for example, I'm living in Greensboro. The people of Greensboro, they think we are terrorists. Somehow we have to let them know who are we, because they think we are, since we are uh, from Middle East, or also Iranian is part of, we have to tell them. So we have a meeting telling those people to make sure uh, let your congressman, senator know this kind of terrorist activity is not acceptable. I understand. I thank you very much. You are right. You are right. But I believe the people of the world, they know where they learn astronomy, astrology, the stars, the natures, the language, the notes, the music. The general science is known, came from Persian. Persian are the oldest and the most civilized nation in the world. Why? Because from the time of Ashu Zarathustra, good word, good thing, thought, and good deed was the only way a Persian could make any decision, positive thinking. What today in the United States and the Western world they call positive energy, it came from Iran, from Persian. It came, it's still in every Iranian and Persian. Positive mind, positive thinking, what they call here universal that's what we call Hacha. Hacha and Hacha Manishi exist over thousands of thousands of years. If you look at what I'm trying to tell you, everybody knows the civilization of Persian. Everybody knows those mullahs, those regime in Iran, has nothing to do with Iranians. They, some of them just talk some Iranian world even mixed with Arabic or others. They are not Persian, they are not Iranians. They just kept our people in hostage. Do you remember Hitler did to some countries around the world? Stalin tried it. I don't understand why people of the world couldn't see that when Mr. President Jimmy Carter was in house in the White House, how could he support this terrorist regime in Iran and bring the Khomeini there? Because of their mistake of the House when he was President of the United States, he started to support them. As soon as he saw the hostages, he woke up, but he couldn't admit their mistakes. It went on and on. They thought maybe they can talk to them. They can negotiate. Now they know they are terrorists. Not only terrorists, they are even feeding the terrorists. There's a house of terrorists in Tehran by mullahs. So what I'm trying to tell you is people of the world, they know who the Persians are. Believe it or not, everybody knows the Persians are civilized people. Why do you think the Jewish community once in a year celebrates their freedom, celebrates their freedom 
when the king of Persia took the Babylon, the Bible, and let them free. Because every Persian believes everybody is free. He can think he wants, he can be he wants, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. So, to make brief your questions, we will inform them, but they must know, especially if they are congressmen, they know who the Persians are. And they know exactly none of these mullahs have anything to do with Iran. I think it's the time, it's almost 10 to 4, we're supposed to finish 20 minutes ago. And uh, if there is no more questions, yes. ما همیشه گفتیم که روز مهرگان روز مهرگان که به ما گفتند ده مهر روز مهرگانه حتی در این هم باز اخیرا به من میگن نخه شونزه مهرگانه چون در ده خدا نوشته مهرگان روز شونزه همه ولی ادهی دیگری به من گفتن در تقدیمی که من دارم ایرانیان باستان ایرانیان پر عظمت ایرانی ایرانی واقعی در تقویمشون در سالنامهشون روزها را اسم میگذارند هر روزی اسم میدارند مهر هم یکی از روزهاست در هر ماه یک یا دو یا سه روز مهر خواهد بود محصود از مهر مهر ورزیز دوست داشتن همین مهری که ما میگیم لاو به انگلیسی اما به اون زمان دیگه این که به من گفتن که اولین روز مهر در ماه مهر روز مهربان درست است به همین دلیل ما اون روز مهر را روز مهرگان را انتخاب کردیم من شخصا انتخاب کردم که برم ایران و از اون روز از حقا همون به انگلیسی بهش میگن که universal minds unified field of consciousness awareness intelligence information and, and many other issues به من گفته شده که روز مهرگان روز مهرورزی روز آبادی ایران روز آزادی ایران روز باسازی ایران به همین دلیل من روز مهرگان را رو انتخاب کردم برم ایران روزی که انتخاب کردم نمیدونستم که روز آدین است یعنی جمعه است نمیدونستم که روزها در همون روز خبرهای دیگه هم داره میشه چون روز مهرگان یه چیزیه که الان سه هزار و و و و دو سال از تاریخ زرتشتی این روز وجود داره در تقویم ما یعنی اول اون بوده روز مهرگان بوده بعد روزهای دیگر اومده چون یکی اومده به من میگه که روز تولد مهدی هم هست گفتم فبه ها خدا خواست یا گفتن روزهای همون روز روزهای دیگر هم آنکه ما روز جمعه رو انتخ... روز آدینه که جمعه میشه انتخاب کردیم بریم ایران و در ایران در میدان شهیاد چون من میدونستم شهیاد نزدیکترین میدان هست به فرودگاه و اسم شهیاد هم هم داره دیگه ایران میبینیم ما هممون تو خونمون هست که کارش کارش هم نمیتونیم بکنیم بله بله اینی که گفتم میرم در میدان شهیاد چون ما آین ما ایرانیان ازتون خواهش میکنم خوب توجه داشته باشید این پرچم که میبینید هیچ ربطی به مذهب نداره از نظر من اگر کسای دیگه میگن مذهب نداره این آین باستانی ایرانه که در اینجا نوشته اگر 
بتونیم بخونیمش گود فوز اندیشه نیک گود ورد سخن نیک گود دید کردن نیک انجام دادن نیک این یه چیزی که باستانی نیک ورزی و گفتیم که میخوایم بریم میدان شهیاد نیک زیستن و برگردونیم به ایران چون ما ایرانی هستیم ببینید چنگیز خان اومد ایران رو گرفت مغولا گرفتن دل خیلی آزاد شدیم عرب اومدن گرفتن آزاد شدیم یونانیان اومدن رومیا اومدن ما آزاد شدیم الان هم ملایان تروریست اومدن ما بخواییم آزاد بشیم آن کشور خودمون رو داشته باشیم به زبان خودمون صحبت کنیم نیگزیستی رو یاد بگیریم به همه یاد بدیم تخار رو یاد بدیم روز جمعه رو انتخاب کردیم روز آدینه رو انتخاب کردیم که برم اونجا در میدان شهیات چون غیر از این کلمات این پرچم مقدس این پرچم شیر خوشی اگر من نمیخوام داستان برم اینجا پرس کانفرانس این پرچم مقدس این آین باستانی رو برگردونیم به ایران که ایران آزاد و آباد بشه با هم سرود ای ایران رو بخونیم با هم سرود ای ایران رو بخونیم ای ایران Tabi Iran. Tabi Iran.